is a real crisis with elephants and ivory. Demand for ivory has never been higher and the elephants are fewer. Scientists are unanimous that elephants are now decreasing in all four regions of Africa. I have spent hours and hours watching elephants and come to understand what emotional creatures they are. They can suffer and feel pain. They have long-term supportive bonds between family members. So it's not just a species facing extinction, it's massive individual suffering. We see the suffering, the wounding, and the mourning of elephants time and again as one after another get killed. To crush the ivory in America is of huge symbolic importance. It's going to send a message out across the world and remove that ivory from the market forever. And the next step will be to totally ban the sale of all ivory. In the United States, there are so many ivory bracelets and bangles and pendants and little ornaments, and every single one of those means a dead elephant. Elephants are very resilient. If they get protection from the trade that they need, they can recover. One of the biggest problems is the high price of ivory. And this means that the poachers are prepared to risk their lives even, because the rewards are so great. And it's tremendously important that the demand countries understand what it means with this ivory coming into their country. And we believe that great opinion leaders who are respected can show the way. If the new generation thinks in a different way from the old generation and regards ivory with horror rather than as a status symbol, then we can change things in a big way. Today, I think the US government have shown great leadership in crushing this ivory. It sends out a signal around the world that America is prepared to do something about this trade in ivory. And now it's time for the leaders to take it a step further and impose a complete ban on the sale of all ivory in the United States. If America shows that leadership, then other countries can follow, particularly those who are consuming huge quantities of ivory. We have to stop the killing, stop the trafficking, and stop the buying.